first of a series on more electric power for van life. Life-changing, literally, if you're full-time especially, but, you know, part-time too. You need power. Got to charge lights. And for YouTube, I need to be able to power my laptop, of course. And a laptop will run a power station down pretty quickly. I have needed for a long time to figure out a solution. At times I've been without refrigeration, and I can do that. There are plenty of non-perishable foods. There are plenty of restaurants around. I've been on caravans with women where we have looked for city parks that have a place to plug in. We've gotten campgrounds just so we could plug in. We've gone to libraries. We've gone to Planet Fitness. We've gone all kinds of places just to look for a place to plug in our power stations. Well, I wanted to find a, a solution that's uh, less hassle than that. I'm trying to simplify, and I think I've got the answer. I'm not there yet. It's going to be a series. I'm halfway there, I think. Uh, and it's going to be exciting to see the end, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work out like I think it will. It's all centered around an S2000 All Powers power station. This video is not sponsored by anyone. I did buy everything except the All Powers S2000. They sent me that for review, along with two portable solar panels. 200 watts each. 400 watts of solar power. I'll be testing those too. I'm going to try to simplify it so I don't have to buy inverters and all those complicated wiring all over the place and having to um, know what to do with it and control it. I think a lot of you might like to simplify too rather than having those complicated systems. So stick with me on these videos and see how it applies to just about every aspect of my van life including the rooftop carrier, the hitch box carrier, and a amazing new refrigerator. All of it adds together, and it'll be a series of several videos. Don't know exactly how many right now, uh, how quickly all of it will go together, but it's all planned. It's all in the works. First, let me show you a couple of things that I didn't like about some of the other power stations that I had. This is common to a lot of power stations. You plug this into an outlet and you have this little silver end here that is a weak point in the system. You can see that it's kind of melted or bent and then it doesn't connect well and you have to jiggle it to get it to go in just straight. The power cord also has a box. This box can overheat. It can warm up your van on a summer day. You don't want that. This kind of charger can be a lot more expensive to replace. Let me show you why the All Powers is an improvement on that. Look, no box. There's no box to overheat here. It just plugs directly into a 110 outlet. This kind of plug is so much more stable and it's cheaper to replace. Sometimes a little tweak can make a big difference. Just getting the wires under control is kind of nice. So um, this is the refrigerator plugged in. I wrapped it around that nice convenient handle right there and then it goes behind and under this carpet. But it looks like when it's charging, it's also running the refrigerator, which the refrigerator is it's just put in, so it's trying to get it cold. I'm not sure what how much uh, wattage the refrigerator will use once it is cold. Kind of thinking that might change. But I have the plug in the back run through this little tiny hallway right here. Actually that's my closet. So now I'm going to be charging it from the back instead of charging through my door which makes for less wires in here. Makes a lot of sense. Brand new refrigerator. Just now plugging it in. Fits in the spot good. See that right there? That's a battery. And when you plug this refrigerator in, it's automatically charging that battery too. So that if you run out of power, that's going to run it. And I don't know how long yet because I haven't used it yet. It's brand new. And I bought this. It's not sponsored. And I'll 
I'll let you know how it works after a while, but I do like the idea of the battery. The battery by itself was $99. I am so impressed that I can't even tell you. Today is Thursday at about 4 o'clock, and this All Powers S2000 has been running my refrigerator since Monday morning at 10 a.m., now, during that time, I have also charged a phone or two, charged some lights, nothing too heavy, but it's run the refrigerator all that time from 10 a.m. on Monday to 4 p.m. on Thursday, and it still has 41%. Of course, it helps that there's a battery in the refrigerator, but overall, that's what I'm trying to do. Control the power so that I'm more or less off-grid and not relying on trying to find a place to plug in. I really liked this Yakima rooftop box. However, I had to make a choice. I still needed the storage, but I wanted to replace that rooftop box with solar panels on top. But the first thing it had to go, my beautiful Yakima rooftop box. And now for the hitch box to replace that storage. First of all, I had to take everything out of my van and they had to get to the floor to be able to bolt on the hitch. I had U-Haul put the hitch on, a two inch hitch. And then I had the Exosystem swing away box put on. It has safety features for latching it, and it swings away really easy. I really recommend that you put reflectors all the way around it on all four sides. After all, it's black and it's sticking out there and someone might not see it. Also, if you're putting a new hitch on the back, please be careful and not hit your shin on that piece that's sticking out there. I already had that experience and it wasn't good. Please join me for the rest of this series to see how much solar I can get on the roof of my minivan to see if I can make a minivan off-grid. See you next time. Bye.